Hi, this is Mike Peterson from Challenge Island, Oakland County, East, back with our Steamtastic Friday. We're in the middle of our candy series right now on Challenge Island, so we talked a little bit last week about how candy is made and the science behind it, so if you haven't seen that one, check that out, because we, we need the sugar to make the candy, so that's important. But today we're going to talk about the technology of making candy, just show you a little bit about what comes together to, to make candy making possible. So one thing that's really important to realize about technology in general is there's a lot of different things that come together to create the capability to do something like making candy. So just for example, uh, candy making has been around as a technology since about the 1850s or so, and a lot of things have come together since then to, to make candy making as, as easy and popular as it is today. So just for example, when it comes to the energy we use to make candy, we start out with, uh, so back in those days they used steam because you had to heat it up somehow, so hot steam would work for that. Then they moved to coal, then they moved to burning gas, and now we use electricity most of the time to, to warm up the candy, so that's important. Also, too, believe it or not, sugar farming is an important technology. So, so back before they got really good at farming sugar, it was really expensive, and so, so it was hard to make the candy and be able to sell it to people. So around 1900, sugar farming got a lot more efficient, and that makes for lower prices for the sugar so that we can make the candy so that people can afford it. So that's important. Thermometers are super important. So one thing, as we talked about last week, is you have to get the, the sugar to just the right temperature so that it comes out and makes the kind of candy that you want, the hard candy or the cotton candy or the chocolate or whatever it is. So as thermometers got better in the early 1900s, that made candy a lot easier to make. Then, believe it or not, printing is an important technology for candy making. So even though printing's been around for hundreds of years, as it got uh, easier to do and cheaper and better, Again, in the early 1900s, one of the things they realized they could start printing was cookbooks. And so cookbooks started to be published for how to make candy, and that made it a lot easier for people to learn how to do it. And so, so they could even make candy at home, which was a lot of fun. And then finally, paper is also important. So unless you're going to take it right out of the pan and eat it right away, it's important to be able to wrap it up in something. So, so coming up with good sturdy paper that would keep it safe and clean and keep it from melting was really important. So, so those different kinds of papers and films have helped. All right, so let me show you just a few pictures of the different kinds of machines that are used to make candy. First, this is a basic one that makes hard candies. So that the kind that you suck on, like peppermints and things like that. So there's three basic steps. So there's, there's usually a big vat at the start. That's what we cook the sugar in to get it broken down to make just the right kind of liquid so we can pour it and make the candy. The second step in the middle here is where we actually pour it. So, so the, the sugar, the, the liquid sugar is poured into molds to make just the right shape of the, the round peppermint candies or whatever shape you have to make. And then it goes through a big long conveyor where it cools off to just the right temperature so that we can wrap it up and then, then send it out or get it to the store so we can buy it. So that's one kind of machine. Uh, when it comes to chocolate, they have similar machines for chocolate, just a, a couple more because chocolate's even more sensitive in terms of how you make it. So, so we have some metal machines like this. So first we have to melt the cocoa butter. This is the, the raw material that goes into this kind of process. Then we refine it, we store it, we temper it, which means that we have to get it to just the right consistency so that when we pour it, it comes out to, to just the right, right flavor and the, the right hardness of the chocolate we want. Then we deposit it. So that's a fancy word for pouring it into those molds so we can make it look like a, a candy bar or a Hershey's Kiss or something like that. And then the last step is to package it. So, so we have a machine that breaks it up and then wraps the paper around it so we get that chocolate. So believe it or not, you could actually go and buy a, a, a chocolate making factory like this for only about $10,000. That's a good chunk of money, but to make your own factory, that, that would be really fun to do. So if you could get, if you would buy these six machines, that would cost you about that much. And you could crank out about 150 pounds an hour. So, so that's about the weight of a few really big dogs or maybe your mom and dad. So, so if you'd like to do that someday, save up your money, you could have your own candy making factory. So, so let me show you just one more just for fun. And this is cotton candy. So you've probably seen a machine maybe at a fair or at a big party that makes this. 
And so this one's a little bit simpler than the chocolate machine. So the technology behind this is you have to heat up the sugar. So you get a special kind of liquid that has the liquid sugar in it. You put it in the middle here, and then this bowl spins really, really fast, about 3,000 or 4,000 times a minute, so that when the sugar comes out, it spins out and gets into this really thin, you know, the, the thin lines, or the, the, like the, almost like thread that comes out. And that's the, that's the cotton candy. So it's solid sugar, so then you just reach in with a stick, kind of wrap it around there, and you, and you can make that happen. So, so this was invented around 1900, believe it or not, by a dentist, and also by a candy maker. So that's where this got started. Then the, the St. Louis World's Fair in 1904 was really this where this started to take off and be popular. And so now you can get cotton candy all over. You can buy it in the store. You can even buy a machine like this for as little as a couple hundred dollars and make your own candy. All right, so, so with that, hopefully that gave you a little bit of insight into all the cool technologies that go into making candy. So when you have some for Halloween or when you go buy some at the store, now you know a little bit more about the technology that went into that. All right, with that, thank you so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time.